how long I'm going to be here. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll just we'll keep our fingers crossed, neighbor, and you're going to stay in the loop tonight. I, I ain't touching a button. <laughs> I don't know how that works to kick people in and out. I have no idea. I'm sure I can control it, but I haven't learned yet which buttons to push. So what I do is if you make me angry, I'm going to start looking for the eject button, okay? <laughs> I'll just warn you right now. We don't have any of that going on. Uh, oh, look what I just pulled up. Something. Right clicked and man alive, I got all kinds of options over there. Isn't that interesting how every time you play with this you learn something and we pick up a little more and a little more. Okay, I got the chat room open. Uh, Mel sent me some pictures of his wife's work and I did open those up today, Mel, and she does some elegant, elegant beadwork. Really, really beautiful stuff. Very, very impressed. So you tell her. I think her work's astounding. She does all kinds of incredible things. So we'll have to do, I'll have to get them on a show and show all of you. How long has she been doing it, Mel? 10, 12 years. Yeah. I don't know. Well, she's got beads in our house and yarn and. <laughs> get some beads in your, in your soup every now and again? Yeah, beads in the belfry. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of our whole generation. That's that's kind of sums up our our lifestyle now. I'm afraid I hate to even admit that, but I I get going along thinking about things. Driving in this morning, I got up really early, and as I drove in this morning, and my head was so wrapped up around getting my book videos done and and all the editing's finished. Now we're going to go to see the university tomorrow and start getting the publishing going and. Get this sucker ready for ready for distribution. So we're getting really close. And I'm afraid my brain wasn't so much on my driving; it was more on everything else. So, welcome to all of you tonight. Debbie, say hello. How are you, dear? I'm good. How are you? How's the editing business? Uh, the book is published and sent out. Gone. So I'm. Doing other things now. All right. So now you get to paint a little more and carve and engrave a little more and. Yes, not just a little, just a lot. A lot. All right. Well, we love that. I was trying to tell a guy on the phone today how much fun it is to have something that you're really passionate about, because it freaking never feels that never feels like work. Nope. I can put in just way more time and it never feels like work. So. Welcome, welcome tonight. We're going to have a really fun show. We're going to make some progress. It's in a hurry here tonight. Janet, how are you doing up in Canada? I'm definitely trying to keep cool. We're trying to catch up to Jose. Yeah. it's. I noticed the map the, on the news this morning, and it was hot everywhere today. Yes. I think. I think we were 198 degrees here, so it's it's really. We don't usually get it this warm. Yeah, neither do we. We normally have much more reasonable weather, but I guess it's global good. warming. It's been good for working in the basement. <laughs> it's global warming. Al Gore's right after all. It's all just going to cook us, and the oceans are going to rise. There's going to be no more Miami. I just hope all that doesn't happen in my lifetime. I don't want to be around when that starts being a problem. Anyway, great to have you here tonight, Janet. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Joyce is on. Da 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 da. -da. Our newly retired queen. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's probably a little more fun to get on even now, isn't it? It is. Yeah, <laughs> you can run around and brag to everybody. When everybody says, what do you do, you get to say, oh, I'm retired now. That's the first answer that comes out of my mouth is how long I've been retired, and that really is fun. So write today on a, a piece of, carve it with your drill and a block of wood and hang it up on the wall, and then you can start marking every year from now till you're gone, how many years not retired? 
That's a good that's idea. A, that's a good idea, and I've been retired more years than I've worked as a dentist, and by twice now. And I love that fact. I'm very proud of that. So, good to have you here. Thank you for coming. Appreciate your participation, lady. Thank you. Thank you. Mel. Hell, Mel. What? This is Toodaloo. Yeah, it came up to what about eighty degrees here today? Oh, come on! Don't be bragging, you twerp. <laughs> That's not fair. North I Carolina love it here in the mountains. Nothing changes in North Carolina. It just stays. This it's like San Diego. It's within. No, we have four definite seasons here. Do you? Okay. Yeah. San Diego is seventy-eight degrees all the freaking time. Drives me crazy. Yeah, I know. I was stationed there for a few years. I don't know how you can stand San Diego weather. It's just horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Just and especially right this, the sea breeze at night and the smell and the food. and the, God, I'm making myself nauseated. i got to knock it off. No more San yeah, Diego yeah. talk. Swimming in the uh, ocean on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I had to go down there and do a show, I'd get on the plane and I saw him whole speed dancing inside, knowing that I'm going to San Diego to work. Are you kidding? There's no such thing. Nobody <laughs> in San Diego works ever. Good to have you here tonight, Mel. Thank you. And I'll tell the wife that uh, you said her stuff is gorgeous. All right, you do. Right that. now, she's battling cataracts. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. You mentioned she's getting yeah. have surgery. So, well, our prayers go out to her. <laughs> She'll be, She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Oh, I'm glad she had it done. Yeah. And she's beating bracelets. Beating a bracelet. <laughs> I wonder what where that incentive comes from. Maybe oh, you gee, guys could know. marry your marry your talents, huh? Hey, you know what? That Faberge egg oh, I had on last while. night. That should have been a little bit motivating to both of you. That was. Uh, I've yeah. seen Faberge. Yeah, wait, that wait. was neat. Quite aware of Carl Fabergé. Well, Carl was pretty good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. All right. Welcome to tonight, Michael. Welcome tonight to you, bud. Thank you, Dr. Leo. And uh, good, Mal, good um, I was in North Carolina in the 1970s, and I was in the Marine Corps in Jacksonville, North Carolina. I, and it's wonderful. Uh, I was right on the ocean, but the humidity killed me. <laughs> yeah, so you got to get used uh, to that. Yeah, you got to get used to the humidity. Other than that, I just finished my last cabinet door, which was hummingbirds, and uh, so I'm good to go on all the cabinet doors. Yep, they look great. They look really great. I really enjoyed your posting of them. That's a lot of fun to be able to put your work up now. Now what we're going to talk about tonight is how that's going to actually spread and that's why we're trying to develop this tool and see if we can shove everything out there even further because if you're in my world very long there are three words that you never forget now. The first word is exposure and the second word is exposure and the third word is exposure and I have never seen a tool like this not in my entire business career this is just going to be the most amazing thing and for those of you that are patiently staying with it I commend you and you're going to be really glad you got through this troublesome period of time to learn how to use this thing and we learn how to use it together we're going to be a deadly motley crew here before we're done good to have you here Mike thank you Dr. Lou Nick you're up Oh. Yes. You're on. You're live. Uh, do, yes. Dr. Lou, do you have two sessions showing on your screen? No longer. Because there is an echo. Nope. And it seems to be showing up under your... On for mine? Yeah. If you look at the green line underneath. Well, my phones aren't working on... on my earphones aren't working. But my mic apparently is. Wonder if you're picking up uh, from my from my computer microphone, or if you're picking up from me. Can you still hear me now? Yes, I can. I can hear you. Oh, that seems to have changed. Well, there's still a little bit. 
Notice the little green line that shows up when I'm speaking under your picture also. Really? Yeah, it is. So, so maybe there's a double, double something going on. Yeah, somehow it's feeding out, back. I don't know bit. if I can find my way back into this same show. No. I don't know how to do that. For um, sure. I was watching a video on Hangouts, and they talked about, I think, this issue. This very so problem. So I'll go, yeah, I'll go look at that uh, after the show and, and see if we can figure out how to modulate it. Yep. What I need to do is, is try that, set up a Hangout, and then leave it posted with somebody in it, and then go out and come back in, because that's not something I've, I've tried it twice, and I've not been successful both times. I know how to launch an initial show, but I don't know how to go back out. And maybe that's the problem my whole life. I've never been able to find myself. <laughs> I think there's something to that, gang. All right, let's go down to Schneeberger here. Ron is on. Yep. I, uh, that narrow image coming? That's kind of cool. What did you do? Is that your camera angle? Yeah, I'm on my iPhone. I started having trouble again with the computer, with it starting to freeze up, and I figured, okay, I'll get on my iPhone. Right on the and iPhone, and so you're in off your phone. Yeah. I'm this is so phone. damn neat. I'm going to be able to launch a show. I can be over at the home studio, and we'll have a gang around, sitting around doing something, and I can launch it right off my phone. I, yeah. I just can't get over how the range of this silly, silly stuff. Well, I'm going to shoot out this uh, the quote I talked to you about on the uh, that, yeah uh, yeah let him have it. It's uh, Wayne Gretzky, and and he had a couple good quotes. Uh, the first one is, "You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take." And relating that to the business, if you don't try it, you know, or if you have a hobby or you don't try something, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna you know you're just gonna miss out. And the other one was, I skate to where the puck is going to be, not to where it has been. And <laughs> that corresponds to this hangout deal where we're going to where it's going to be and not to where it's been with the go-to-meeting thing. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Has anyone else, are you getting a double image or a double, uh, hearing a double uh, thing from me? Can uh, Nick can hear a double sound going through? You, you hear anything distorted, Ron? Once a, a little bit, but it it seems to be better than it was. Pretty minor, huh? Well, I just want to make sure that I've got uh, I've got my end doing as well as I can do it, so that we don't have these kind of problems. All righty, let's go for it, gang. Let's see what we got tonight. I've got a little bit I want to visit about because I got some exciting news. So let's pull up screen share. And um, who's just got a comment? You, I was going to say, just before you start, we've got Cheryl on now. Where's Cheryl? There she is. Hello, Cheryl. Say hello, dear. You got a microphone? Hi, everybody. Going there? Yeah, there you are. Good to have you on, lady. I'm barely hearing you, Cheryl. Almost coming through, but not quite. I don't know what the deal is there. All right, let's go get this thing going here because we got a lot of fun things to talk about tonight. And I'm going to start the screen share right now, I think. How come it's not working here? Somebody has their mic open. You need to shut down your mics, guys, in between when you're not talking. Well, I had a similar battle last night. It won't let me open up open up the screen share for some reason. Why 
is that doing that? Select a window. Okay, I have. That's the window I want selected. And that's start the screen share. There we go. Okay, now we got it. Let's go find the show we want tonight for blogging show seven. And blue. And that should be full screen now. Okay, you should have LifeWise up. Uh, you may want to click on your screen on your screen. So it brings it up for everyone else. I'm looking at uh, what's live How about and broadcasting, that? and it still shows. Uh, is it um, Cheryl's? Oh, there you go. It takes over Cheryl's. when you start you visiting. Go. It takes over and pulls it to you, Nick. So I don't know how to lock it. I don't know how to keep it there. It should be showing my live screen right now. It is. It is. Okay, you got LifeWise now. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. All right. Screen slide two. Weekly live hangout. Approach to blogging. Blogging gang. Any network and opportunity intersection. Um, when we first started all this, I started to encourage you to write a list of the words in your life that you prefer and to start building that list. Uh, what I want to do is kind of challenge you tonight in a couple of ways. I want to see, just don't say it, but just measure it for yourself. How many of the words, if there was a topic cloud around you, how many words have you got on this list now? Because you're going to have to identify those words. Those are the words we're going to tag and hashtag. Those are the things that are going to help us penetrate the marketplace. Those words are the same words that 80 million people out there in the world are searching for exactly what we're writing and talking about. And from what I'm seeing, people that get really good at this and know what their focused market effort is all about, do extremely well with the optimization of both their their website but also their blogging. So you kind of have to do this. If you're going to be successful at this, you've got to start gathering the words that you like that hover in and around who you are and what it is you do. For example, uh, when you search on Google, Google's computers grab everything you search for and have done that for all this time. So the Google search engines are really good at knowing what the words are in your life that you prefer. And they know those words, but you don't know those words. And I'm thinking, well, then the Google computer knows more about us than we know about ourselves. And so if Google can hand us back those words, maybe that's something we should go look for. I'll bet there's a way. I wonder if there's a way to find out what your own personal profile is. That's a neat question. That's something we need to go see if that's possible. Because wouldn't it be really incredible to see what you most have searched for? What words most come up in your searches with Google already? And this preferred word list is kind of the guiding light of the direction of how you're going to do your blogging. And I'm really determined to make this work. So I'm going to do it in my own life, and my suggestion is that you will gradually learn this process, and then I'm hoping you can then spin it over into your life so that the words and the directions and the way you are going are profoundly yours, not, not mine. That seems to work so much better. Over my years, I've watched people who just fall in love with Greg Woodard they just basically tell themselves they're going to get as good at Calvin Falcons and Birds of Prey as Greg Woodard, and their whole incentive is to outdo Greg Woodard. And 
God, that's a lousy motivation. That really isn't that isn't the best way to approach. What you want to do is be yourself and outdo yourself. It doesn't seem to me to make a good measurement of someone else's degree of success. But however you start into this, if you're really consistent with your efforts and your explanations, you're going to figure out more and more about what's going on in your own individual world. I'm really proud of the fact that our names as a studio, the Jose Valencia studio, the Lou Jensen studio, uh, all of us have our names as a studio and so if you still haven't got this Gmail account set up, please stop your life and go get your name with the studio added to it and then a Gmail account. I'm going to really be insistent about this because then once that's established and you put your Google Plus account with it, then all this Android connecting stuff really starts to be effective in your life. I just cannot get over that whatever I post over here on my laptop ends up on my upright computer and on my cell phone and it coordinates everything and throws it right in front of me and then it reminds me constantly what's going on. It's just like having an expensive uh, personal secretary. So please don't ignore these individual moments. Make sure you get that Google Plus account going, right? And we have so much to brag about. We've got all of you guys' stories, the projects you do, the work that you do. Um, as we start getting better about what we're putting up on the web, I want to be more careful about how that's presented. Uh, if you're all noticing how incredible Mel's photographs are now, and his presentation is a lot more cautious, but it's extremely good. And I think we have to be aware of that. Craig has a seminar that he produces in uh, has an, oh God, that'd be a great thing to put on the web now. I'm going to get him to do that again and then I'll videotape that and put it up. It's, it's called push and it's a personal push. It's a personal thing when you constantly desire to do better. We've done okay to this point, but what we want to do is lift the bar and keep lifting the bar. And when we got so much to brag about with people and what they're doing and which way they're going, uh, I can't imagine anything more fun than having this basically be your mouthpiece, become the way that you start showing to the world who you are and what it is you're good at. Okay? Um, if you could measure somehow the whether the effectiveness of your words really counted or they really mattered, and we can say, yeah, I'm quite sure that my words really matter, but which ones? And and that's what we've got to learn here. We, if, if you're an effective blogger and you can use a choice, there's probably five words around the describing of a particular idea, and there's going to be one out of those five of those words that's better than all the rest. It's exactly like this picking out of this avatar. It's very uncomfortable to have other people telling you how you should look or how you should smile. And yet coming back to it when that visual identification, that branding is so strong. The boys, uh, my sons have got a new, uh, a new logo for Frontier Swiss. And, and we went to lunch today with my sons and my grandsons and, and they all had the same shirt on with that logo right in the center of their chest. They look like they're Star Trek guys. <laughs> and oh, are they having fun wearing those shirts with that brand on. And every time they go out, somebody asks them what it is. What's it about? And so the visibility of, and I told Chris, I says, don't you guys change it much now. Let it settle. I got an extremely good logo. I'll have to show it to you. It's just really dynamite. But it's the care and attention to the care of your image that we're after here, the things that really do matter. I have used having a good time is my job my whole stupid career. And I'm going to my 50th high school class reunion in August, first weekend in August, and I put it in my profile and used it in my profile 
because these are the words of a really great retirement. Okay, and that's what you're after. You want to brag about the fact that you're retired now and that you get to play more than you have to work. And so if you're in that category, this kind of a concept is a really a strong one. So I'm going to have a couple of shirts embroidered for Tammy and I. We're going to run the river, and I'm going to put it across. Having a good time as my job goes right across the nap, the yoke of my shirt. And it's just super visible. I'm around anybody for any length of time. I've never got on a plane yet. When I walk on and that's on the yoke of my shirt, somebody's going to comment on it. I guarantee it. And that's kind of fun. So if your choice of words are, are, are the same as the Dalai Lama, do you think the Dalai Lama pays attention to the choice of his words? I think they do. I don't think this is just an accident. I think they're very careful at what they say and what they pass on. And so when you're talking about how is this going to be as we do our hangouts together here now, I'm going to show you some things off the analytics. I've been looking at the analytics the last two days and you're going to be really impressed, gang. We're cutting a little swath already. So it's really an issue. When I showed you this lady's words last night and we start talking about how she writes things, and I visited with a couple of you the last couple of days about how she says things. And when you're really paying attention that this is how she describes herself, then that's what you really want to try and do as well. You're trying to literally keep the same relationship and the same kind of feel if she's got the 12 most successful blog out there last year, then maybe we ought to pay attention, okay? And when we're using this kind of thing with this tool now, what is happening is this accelerated mixing thing. I just cannot get over that we can literally mix with each other on such an incredible level and basis. So instead of it taking when my great-grandfather got together with his brother back in the pioneer days, it took him six weeks by wagon to get from southern Colorado over here to Utah. Six weeks one way. Twelve weeks for the trip, can you imagine? And now we can knock down anything almost instantly. Um, it's just the most amazing era to live in when the mixture of all of us is really so aggressive and, and largely very effective. We're really getting better at using the tool now. But it's so important to have this Gmail thing set up. I want every one of us recognized in the Inspiration and Encouragement Network. We're the artists. There's, there, we're going to kill the starving artist syndrome. And when everyone sees your name with the studio and then those hands, that branded hand look, that's connected, then that automatically connects you with all of us. And I really want you to be a member and I want you to use it. It's going to be a really, become a really powerful tool when we get all of this operational. So last night, uh, this show got, got uploaded. And notice the graphic image that they chose for the front end of that show. And Google elects that. Isn't that the most interesting thing? And I'll bet you I've asked a hundred people in the last month how in the hell Google picks that and decides which image. Because if the image is here like this one, there's a couple of them they didn't even put up an image. And that just frosts me to have it. I think the last two shows that we've done have been pretty good ones. I don't mind putting them up. The others have been kind of hokey. But the last two shows weren't too bad. But I'm now beginning to figure out how to edit them post-op. I can now put a new front end on them. And so I can put a trailer, a professional trailer, attached to the front end of the shows. So I can introduce them on a better basis. I can put things in and take things out after the fact and then republish it up on the YouTube. So our finished products, I think, are going to be something that you'll probably be really proud of. But the thing that we've got to do is just enhance this whole thing even more. Um, if you're going to really kind of zero in on what is the things that most impress you, 
try and look at this quote that I shared with you last night and try and measure on a percentage basis where you mentally think you are with this. Okay, do you undervalue what you are? That's usually where people, where people have trouble. They're anxious about their own individual skill. I've never done this before. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of showing up and I hope I can figure this out. Um, come to classes with us. They're so scared that first two or three days they come in they can hardly even navigate. And then after a while you start getting the hang of it. You start figuring out what we're doing. Janet was down from Canada the last fall and we went through class and Janet's got an awful lot of skill to begin with so she jumped in and just did so well with everything. But most people really don't enter that studio with that kind of background and so they're really anxious about their own circumstances and I think very often they undervaluate uh, themselves. So looking at saying well if we get really good at the creativity, the problem solving, the problem solving skill of mankind is their creativity which I think is strongly mixed with both your imagination and your intuition. Okay. And if we start building this library around you of resources, uh, really great ideas and great photographs and well done video segments, and then we start doing a better job of our composition and our writing, we're going to help each other get better. As long as you can take a little criticism, okay? and I'm still trying to figure that out with each of you. We really try to be really careful of what and how we criticize because it usually offends the living hell out of most people. And what I want you to do is be really slow on your criticism. Don't be so quick to point out a mistake in somebody else has made or whatever. You really can upset the apple cart with a, especially a brand new person quickly. So be on the positive side. We're a positive circle. We're supposed to inspire and encourage everybody, so be really cautious about your your well, critical your critical part that you're putting into it. Um, I'd like you to stop for just a second and rate your effort with this blogging and your participation with the shows. I've got ten shows up now, so let's just measure. We did a couple of goofers that were on top of that, but. There's 10 shows published up on my channel right now. So in the last 10 weeks, how much time have you actually put into this Hangout thing that we're going after? What kind of time do you think you've evaluated? So if it's 10 weeks, figure out how much per week you've probably put into this and then add it and put a 10, put a 0 on it. Multiply it by 10. Okay. Now, if you're the kind of person that says, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to let Lou do it. Uh, you might be a little soft on your initiative and your industry, so you just, I'm just going to show up and let do, Lou do it. How well do you think you're going to honestly do? You, you can't not succeed here without making the investment. Risk and reward are directly proportional. They always are. And you have to make the investment. There's just no way around that. Okay. In the last 10 weeks, I figure I put in 160 hours. I do 16 hours a week to do the shows, period. Damn near two full days. Two good, long, eight-hour days a week. Then in my other, because all of you are sending me, go see this video, Lou, and go see this video, and, and we're all finding stuff. It's just really cool, but it's just unbelievable. I got 28 phone calls yesterday in the morning, and that's my getting ready for the show day on top of everything else that I'm trying to do. So I'm hitting it just about as hard as I can. And on top of that, I'm finishing editing and getting the book published. So I'm just about as busy as I can be right now. But I'm having fun. I'm not complaining for a second. Because guess who's really gaining some speed here? 
I'm having the ball because I see the real potential, okay? And so what you want to do is kind of say, well, based on my investment of time in this last uh, 10 weeks, measure it against a little bit of the investment of the time that you've invested, and yeah, no question, I'm going to get more out of it, and I want more out of it, and so I'm really hitting it hard. But I don't think you can be on the low end, okay? So you see where I'm going with this? I listened to my video or my audio recording of my class. I told you about it last night at my reunion years ago. And uh, <laughs> it's so interesting because when we would invite people to come up and say who they are and where they're from and tell a little bit about themselves, of what they've done and since they graduated high school, and then try and remember something fun that we did back in high school. And there were people who all but couldn't say anything. Didn't, didn't, their wives had to come up and tell us who they were and what they did. And I don't know, I can't explain that all the time. I don't know why people are so reserved and so cautious about that. But my good grief, if you are, we got to either fix that or you got to not head into business. You're the drum beater, the flag waver, you're the promoter, period. The number one hat you wear is exposure, exposure, exposure. And so you cannot do, when there's a chance to present and participate and be involved, you can't be the least in the equation. You've got to at least be upwards in the upward contribution, don't you? So I just sit back and, and go, you know what? It, you'll do better if you will put more into it. When you see something like this, get CaptivatingCopy.com, uh, being able to understand what we got to do here to try and make things work out. I'm going to try and have you gradually get better and better, better and better at what we're doing here, about being engaged and participating. That's what makes everything here work. If you're just barely hitting the top, of this whole Google effort and your your blogging effort, you're not likely to get much out of it. So you really got to engage and participate. All right. I want to show you something. On my analytic page this morning, we've we had 76. We've averaged 76 viewers per show, and that's phenomenal. When you consider all we've had is 10 in with me doing the show, we've got. Uh, 60 more out watching the show or have watched it on their own schedule because it's posted on Google and that's bumped our numbers already but look how many freaking hours of view we've had in 10 shows 9,937 9, hours of, of exposure now you think about that number gang damn near 10,000 hours of mixing here and then the ongoing potential, because it's posted and available, is just all but unbelievable. I have never seen anything like this in my whole life. And when I open up my dashboard and can see what's going on, I to freaking startle me because I didn't think we were getting anywhere. But the fact that we have a full show every week and every and two days a week, two shows a week. And every show's full, and there's 10 or 20 more just killing themselves to get into the show even. And they can't. So literally, we're making some progress that I don't think, like when we got in and, and you all voted to help Robin get her shot at her chance with the American Insurance Family Insurance Dream Team, that worked, gang. We had more impact than we even thought we did. And you start looking at the same kind of number, I'm just going... Whoa, holy cow. Now, Dean Lynn couldn't get on last night, and uh, I called him. He tried to call me during the show, and I had two or three calls during the show last night, and I was so frustrated trying to run the dashboard, I couldn't even answer the calls. And so uh, I called Dean back, and he just got his new Turbo 300 handpiece. He's had the other less expensive handpieces over the last year or so, and just struggled with those cheaper hand pieces and so he says I don't understand how to do this and this and I was trying to help him learn how to extra oil a hand piece so he can 
now get more life out of that oiled our oiled version with the Turbo 300. So I told him next week what I'm going to do is get on a hangout and go through it with him and show him some of these things. Well, then I told Tammy this morning, what well, crap, I'm going to just, it'll be automatically recorded and it'll go up. And the very next thing I want to record when the book is done is a whole show, an hour-long show on why what the drills are. And what the high-speed drills, the differences between the construction and the design. I've had my hand and my thumbprint on just about every drill out there except the turbo carver. And the plastic turbo carver, I'm the one that lit the match on that one too. <coughs> Excuse me. And so now we can put a thing up like that. And when you start penetrating your own hobby base that you're going after, those tools will already be published and be done and be up there. And so to help someone see what we're talking about, you're going to have access to those same tools. Now, I'm, not, I'm quite certain that most of you don't really realize what we're actually playing with here. When I shot the, my last major production was in 1995. And I flew people from all over the country to come and be in the video with us. Most of you have seen that hour-long TV show that I filmed, and I did it in HD. It was before HD was even a thing. It cost me 15 grand to do that show, not counting the production. That just was filming. And then we had all the editing and finishing and all the other stuff. But I've had about four million in sales off that hour-long show. We get people that call up and they've watched it five times and they just can't believe there's a company or a concept or a group of people out there playing with such a neat idea. That silly video worked so well. Now, I'm hopeful that Opportunity Intersection, the new book in seven hours of video, will work the same way. The people right now who don't even know that we exist could really sit down and look at how do you turn a hobby into a business and what's the business plan <clears throat> and we basically draw them into what we're doing through your front door. And as we get smarter about that, we begin to figure out how to make that work. That's where the profitable blogging comes from. Everyone else is just trying to do it with numbers. They think that volume is the whole secret. Okay. I was on the web early today and hang out targeted audience. Look at this. The targeted audience for Hangouts is 18 to 25. And the dominant, dominant viewing audience is this 24 to 25 year old age range. What in the hell is that? Anybody got any idea what our demographics are? <laughs> we're, we're going in a whole nother, we're not even on the radar with the normal Google machinery. You've seen that trailers for that new movie where the two guys are a little older and they go to do their interns at Google and they treat them like they're such old codgers and I'm going, can you match what they do to somebody my age for heaven's sakes? Mel, why don't you and I go offer to do another version of that interns at Google? <laughs> and so we're in a different category here. We're a whole different social strata circumstance. So we're not in the same fishing tank as what normally Google and Hangouts is looking for. And I think that will actually help us in the long run. We're not going to be doing it for the same reason. So I think there's no question that we're here for a different reason. Can you figure out what that is? Is it just to get together once a week and say, hi, how are you? I hope not. I want to I want to figure this tool out. I want to figure out how it works and then we're going to get really good at using it together, okay? We're going to make this work with one step at a time and almost if you just got some patience and will hang in there with us. <laughs> Keep hanging in there, but every time spend a little extra time on your own. Go out on the YouTube and punch in the numbers and the words 
build this preferred word list, your, your topic clouds of words. You're not going to be very effective if you don't gradually start pulling the words around your life that are important to you. And I'm going to suggest the major ones, but I really would like us to all get just extremely good at doing that very thing. Okay? Alrighty. So, how about those numbers, Mel Joins? Isn't that fun? That surprise you a little? Yeah, that's quite um, impressive. That's in startling, isn't it? Yeah, for an old rascal like you are. Yeah, for a bunch of old Todgers, 10,000 hours of viewing, that's impressive. And what's interesting is you can see right when we do the shows, that shows on the graph, the usage, but they go up and they stay on. We don't just drop in and then drop out. And I'll bet there's a lot of that in other Hangouts. We're here because we're interested in the subject and the concept. But you've already, all of you have been sold already. Everyone else is trying to figure out how to use this tool to sell somebody, and we're already sold. We're already well into the profitable hobby angle. And so if we can basically jazz it up a little bit so that it's appealing to a brand new person. I emailed with the young lady that was on with us last night. Yes. That was fairly, fairly interesting to have her just drop in. And I'm trying to get out of her now what her background is. She's got her upfront words and verbiage, and that's all she presented so far. But I'd kind of like to know more about who she is and what she's doing. And uh, she's so young that I'm not sure she enjoyed hanging out with, <laughs> with our generation. But that's going to happen, and it's going to happen more and more. And we need to really pay attention to that fact because this is, I'm going on everything is a public format. There will be some shows that I'm going to do for master's training that will be private, but none of the rest is going to, it's all going to be public. So we kind of have to be, really be prepared. What did you, what did you think, Ron? About last night's show? Well, about the numbers. Oh, the numbers are, I, I'm, that surprised me. I didn't think it was that much. I knew we, we were getting viewership, but I didn't realize it was that much already. Yeah, me either, already. That we've been doing this. Yeah, it's really amazing. I was just startled. I was just thrilled to death. Our highest view so far is 176 people have looked have looked at the show. So that's, and then they're, they're also giving me a rank so I can see which shows were most popular, then I can start pulling back out the ones that didn't do well and redo those, or then enhance the ones that are really attractive to people. So we're really starting to cut a swath, guys. We just got to dig in and do even more. I'm just thrilled to death. I can't wait till you start some of this stuff in September and fall. Yeah. I think that's really going to be a big boost there. You're going to well, see Numbers. We're, we're doing so well. Google's opened up the door for me, and I can now select the image that's going to be on permanently posted with each video. So instead of them selecting at random, they're now giving me, and I found that out today, they're giving me the option. So I can post what I want on the front end of the completed project. So I will have up there, this is what this show's about, this is what this show's about, and then hopefully the titles will then match the shows and it'll be really appealing, especially to brand new people. We don't have to keep harping back over the same subjects. So gonna be pretty dramatic. Gonna be really work out well. What do you think, Deb? Aren't those some fun numbers? Yes, they're they're fantastic. I think that means we're doing a little better than we even expect. Yes. Just like with what happened with Robin. Most of us didn't even realize that we had that kind of capacity. What do you think, Janet? Get Sorry, I had to get my going. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So I'm really pleased that we have the YouTube because I've missed the last couple of weeks due to poor health. So. Being oh, okay. able to go back on and look at them at my leisure, it's been really good. 
Yeah, that's going to be a really a powerful tool. For the last six years with the other formats, even with GoToMeeting, we didn't have that ability. And now the second I punch that little red button right there at the end of the show, and it goes then published to YouTube. But now I'm beginning to figure out how to use my dashboard so I can go in and post edit. So I can take things out and put things in so I can polish up each show rather than have all the casual interacting stuff and then when I'm got to go try and make the the screen shaver thing saver thing work all that kind of stuff's not really I don't want that up permanently but I can fix each of the shows so I've even gonna try they say I can hook my really good cameras my four thousand dollar camera up to the computer laptop so the the dashboard, the master panel should be really strong. And I'm I watched a guy use that and a really good microphone today and I'm just going, Oh, I gotta get that really good mic so that we get the very best audio and everything. Now I, I'm not asking any of you to upgrade yet. But as you move further from where you are right now, if you say I'm an amateur up through um, uh, professional and I'm now working on becoming a master in the IE network uh, you really do need to start upgrading everything here kind of with me so that when you're presenting yourself as a master in our circle you come across with this whole different look and so we'll look at our, I'm gonna kinda make the initial investments and and see if I can't cut my teeth on the initial investments. There's a company called Leadouts that I've watched their whole web presentation today. And you can buy these lead pages. The formats are already done for you. And all you got to do is just mix them and post them into your blog. And it's just a snap, but oh my hell, their pages look good. Gee, really? And I don't know yet what that's gonna, what kind of an investment that software is gonna be, but I'm gonna make that investment. And then, as you start approaching mastery yourself, you, we gotta have these kind of tools. We can't look like a bunch of old duffers that just sat down on a casual evening, uh, Thursday evening, and to sit and visit about the maybes here. I want this to work. I want it to be as enticing and as appealing as we can possibly make it. So you look at your own individual camera image, uh, realize that Ron's on tonight with his cell phone, his iPhone. I got to try that with my uh, my Samsung. I think it, I know for a fact the camera on my Samsung is way better than this one or the $100. Uh, who made that? additional camera that I bought. Logitech. Logitech, yeah, the Logitech camera. Uh, my telephone's better than that, which just shocks me. So, going to be fun. What did you think, Joyce? I kind loved it. Numbers, huh? Fantastic numbers. Got and, and I'm just kind of blown away. There's so much to learn, and I'm excited about it. Well, if, I, if it ever floods you over, that's a good time to call Tammy. <laughs> She's so good at helping people when your when your feathers get all dusted up and you get your butt kicked up between your eyeballs. Her and Carol and Gloria are about the best people on the freaking planet to ruffle things, smooth your feathers down, and calm you down and and get you through it. So, but it really well, Tammy, you, it's it's the most exciting thing I've ever danced with. I'm really really cranked. Yeah, Tammy and uh, Marilyn and I need to go to lunch again when I get up there. <laughs> okay, yeah, we love to. That's our greatest thing, going out to lunch together. I am uh, I kept telling everybody, Woody and Jack both got a little bit of a tummy, and I kind of figured that's what made you rich, was having a little bit of a gut from being out to dinner so many times and eating such good, rich food. And I got that part down, but the rich part still seems to evade me a little. I don't know quite what the hell to do with that, but I have a good time, and that's the main thing, right? You got it. Got it. Absolutely. All right. Who else? Who didn't I give a chance to say something here? Did I get everybody? Mike, what do you think of those numbers, buddy? 
I thought they were great, Dr. Liu, and I really appreciate everything you've said tonight. As you know, I am a very unique person. Yes, you are. I have now hijacked your show. I am now taking over your show. Eject me now. <laughs> it's a test. It's a test? Yes, it's a test. If you want to know if you're able to eject somebody that you don't like, eject me now, please. Okay. <laughs> That did it. He's gone. I just put him in Never Never Land. Anybody know what that was all about? <laughs> I don't know. We're all rather unique in our own way. I think that's why we like to hang out together, right? He's back. How did that go, Mike? You're back. No Your mic's volume. not on. <laughs> Turn your mic on. I say it, it worked perfect. You ejected me. It worked. <laughs> All right. I hope we that know the how to. I know helped. at least I know now where the eject button is. <laughs> I, hope I hope it helped. All right. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> how about you, Cheryl? Have you got your mic on working now, lady? I think so. Yes. There. I can hear you fine. Good to have you on. Those tonight, numbers are bro. amazing. Huh? Thank you. I said the numbers are amazing. Yeah, really is impressive. For as little as we've done so far, uh, we're rolling along at an amazing clip, and that's the strength of this whole format. So when we try and get things done and in place, don't not get your Gmail account. I got a few of you that are still resisting that, and it's free. All you got to do is put your name in as a studio and get you a Gmail account under your name as a studio. Start there. Then start working from last night and tonight. Start working on your profile. Your profile will also contain the words that should be mostly about what you're going to be in your life and the direction you're going. And that means that there's a lot here to gain by just making each of these steps one step at a time. What do you think, Nick? That's kind of fun, isn't it? It is. I was really surprised at the hours because yeah. it says people are joining, watching, and continue to watch rather than just popping in and popping out. Yeah. I'm getting phone calls where people have come in later. They didn't have time to come when we're doing the show right now, but they are coming back and jumping in and looking at it. But they're watching the whole thing. And that just doesn't normally happen with Hangouts. And so, yeah, I was freaked out. You can watch the graph. The performance graph shows you exactly what they're doing. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of fun to be playing with something that feels like it's going to work really, really well. So we'll just keep going with it, all right? Should work good. Now, I need all of you to do one more thing before we finish tonight. Mostly what I think I'm seeing with the whole Google Plus effort is what they call engagement. Engagement means that there's all this stuff streaming in front of you from your computer and you're involved with, with Google Plus. And, and the communities that you sign up with and the people that you plus one, all of that kind of stuff, whenever you make a comment, it ties you to those people a little more frequently. That engagement factor and that engagement level is what starts to begin to make things come more consistently to you. The, the computer is intuitively saying, well, if they like these kinds of things, then they'll probably like these other things as well. So what I want you to do now is to literally bother to engage, which means plus one, Anything in our circle that is posted and you see, you, I really want you to stop for a second and plus one it and make a comment. It only takes a minute or two to say something. Now, I'm not entirely familiar with this hashtag identification. 
<coughs> but I know, <coughs> I know it makes a huge difference. So when you're repeating someone else's name and you hashtag first and then put their name behind it, that really elevates that person's name. So when Mike has published his carvings that he's done on his cabinet work here now, it's important when Mel's put some of his things up and Lance Larson has put his stuff up, when we post something like that, we've got to befriend each other and make the effort. Take the time to plus one it and make a comment. And I don't know how to tell you about the hashtag thing yet, so we'll wait and kind of get after that later. But that means you're actually physically engaging with the subjects. And I know that's going to help our numbers dramatically because we have the strength to actually do that. So start looking at the kind of things you want to publish and post. You can go on your Google Plus account and go over on the chat box on the side right here. Open up your Google profile. And then when you start learning how to post things here, you can post a comment to just about everything that's coming by you on Google+. So it's something from our gang, from the IE Network, please bother to, to make sure you engage those comments and those images, okay? I think that'll help a lot. Anybody else got anything they want to throw in before we finish tonight? I've been up for a long time, and I was up late, and I had a wild day yesterday, so I'm pooped. I, I just did a uh, – uh, I'll let um, Janet go. No, you're up, Mike. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I just posted my last cabinet door. Uh, I would love to have added uh, what Lance did, but I do not understand how to do that. We'll, we're going to work on that embedding. I want to have you learn how to embed video clips and other people's pictures, and we're going to get really proficient at all of that because that's what will draw people towards you with your blogging. The more we mix with each other, the stronger we're going to get. So, Thank great you. comment. Great comment. Ron? Yeah, I, I, I didn't know what that plus one was. I, I didn't click that before, but I will start. I usually make a comment, and, um, I, and I know that for a fact that the more you comment on stuff, it even elevates your name because Google yeah, tracks you also. They measure carefully the degree of engagement. And we're a fairly tight knit circle beginning to use Google and I think they're gonna I think it's gonna result very quickly. It apparently is making I mean they've opened up my my channel on YouTube quickly and I've not asked for <coughs> any additional help. <coughs> I know it's the numbers we're getting and how fit fast they're coming up, so that's fun. Everybody see the image of Ron right now? I'm trying to figure out if that's his halo that's shining right over his bald head or what's going on up there, Ron. That's a pretty impressive <laughs> shot. You, that's, you uh, look the, angelic, the, doesn't he? That's the ceiling light. But, uh, but yeah, I, I know what it is, but we're just going to call it Ron's. This is Ron's uh, guardian angel right up there. Yeah, well, Still I couldn't be the blind angel, so I had to be another type. What? I, I couldn't be the blind angel, so I had to be another type. <laughs> yeah. How fun is that? Okay, now put it down. Aim your camera up a little bit more so I can – I'm going to capture. See, I just got that. Now, I just captured the image, and then now that's stuff we can shoot out on the web and share with each other. So we now have two angels in our circle, except I know Ron's no angel. <laughs> uh, you can lie to everybody else, Ron, but you can't lie to me, right? Yeah, you know me too well. Oh, I know you. You, too you well. have the behind the scenes that uh, behind the scenes goods on. You. <laughs> hey, Ralph's here. Hello, Ralph. How are you tonight, bud? <coughs> you got to unlock your mic. Your mic's not coming through. There you go. Now you got it. Well, 
you had it. I can hear you barely. Ralph has some massive equipment there. Yes, he does. He's he's hiding out in the bomb shelter. <coughs> I'm sorry, my cough's starting to come up, guys. I apologize. I can't control it sometimes. It gets a little crazy. Mal, oh, we talked to Mal. Mal, we don't talk to you anymore. Joyce, we talked to you. Janet, did we talk I to just, you. I just have one question. I haven't met Cheryl Dude. before. Where, where, where is she from? And All what right, does let's she bring her up. I'll bring her up and let her tell everybody and more about her, okay? Here we go. Tell everybody who you are, Cheryl. She's my my newest apprentice. She just barely got her equipment and kind of getting started. Oh, oh we lost I her. I scared her. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just scared her. I don't think so. I was on the morning on the phone with her all morning this morning, and she was... She's excited. She's a little intimidated. She's really cranked about the crystal book. She's going to give it a go, I think. Guess who just walked in the door? Say hi to everybody. We're just finishing the show. Hi, everybody. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> My sprinkling is soaking wet. And I'm soaking wet. Hope everything, everybody's okay tonight. Look, look. Yeah, she got. Hey, Tammy. Oh, hey. The show's over, guys. <laughs> I got a wet Tamari here. I'll catch you next Wednesday. Same time. Say hi to the pup. Hello, Missy. <laughs> Hello, Tamari. Kathy says Hello. hi. Hi, Mike. Oh. Hi, hey, Tammy. Mel's here. Hi, hi Tammy. Hi, Tammy. I don't have hi, my glasses on. Who's saying Nick's, hi? Nick's here. Hi, Nick. I did Hello. talk to Lou about the DVD. Oh, good. I brought it with me. I brought Thank it you. with me. We'll get your copy sent tomorrow. Ralph's on. You got your mic on now, Ralph? Nope, not going. Oh, my gosh. What's happening? Well, we're just having nice a few to see minor you again, Tammy. technical difficulties. Who's saying That's that? That's Janet. 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 Oh my sure. gosh, honey, how are you? <laughs> and Very good. On. Hi. Ron's here, Tammy. I just oh got to show God. you Ron. You're gonna love this. Look at Ron. Okay. Hello. He's got his he's got his halo on going up. Yes, there. he does. <laughs> we got hey. our new our new I angel. had no idea that you were an angel. He's so <laughs> angelic. Uh, I'm I Tammy. love it. I love it. <laughs> We're not having any fun at all, are we, gang? We're no. Proud of no. I appreciate your participation and your contribution, all of you, so very much. And if there's ever a time that I ever offend you or upset you, please don't take it that way, because I don't. I mean well. I just. I tell him. I often stick my foot in my mouth, and that's one of my better yes, skills. Yes, you do. Well, I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tam. Aaron Hi Tamari. Hi Mel. Mr. Mustache. Actually, Mel's an angel in and of his own right, isn't he? This okay, boy saved I'm, your life several times. Yeah. I want to know, is your hair pulled back or did you cut it? Who me? No, Mel. No, Mel. It just cut he cut it. Oh my darn. This is the new sophisticated. Oh, Me too, well. Mel, but I'm all wet. This is yeah. the new Sports Illustrated sophisticated jewelry designer. Yes, it is. That's his new look. Yes, it the is. Last time Tamari saw me, I was sporting a full beard as well. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. And about he puts on his leathers and gets on his <laughs> motorcycle. He fits right into Hell's Angels. <laughs> I don't think so. I think so. I he think did. So. You. He look went and got his fingers. Look at that angelic face. That's yeah, not a hell's angel a, face. Underneath there, there's a raging bull. I know. <laughs> I'll give you back to Tamarine. So nice. No, to we're see all done. we're all done. Great. Yeah. Yeah. You came in the first still waters run yeah. very deep. I had to hurry. She always does these myself. grand entrances, guys. <laughs> I don't know how she. Blue still waters run very deep. 
Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's probably what's really going on with this aging crowd. Yeah. We're all kind of in the same category, aren't we? I don't yeah. know about the rest of you, but I, I literally sometimes cannot bring the words up and they just kind of disappear. And it's starting to really scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I have the trouble with me is names. What I do is I memorize all of your teeth, so just keep your mouths closed when you're around me. I I visually measure everybody's teeth. That's what dentists do. They I can't remember a name, but I never forget a smile. So. Well, some of them can fail it, do you? <laughs> I love you, Bunch. We're doing some good stuff, so just keep in there now. Go to work on your name search. Go to work on these keywords, guys. It is not an easy task. We'll build the arsenal of your resource library as we go, but for right now, you've got to begin to zero in on what words are really have impact for you personally. If you're going to drive this into the marketplace. Ron, tell everybody that quote from Wayne Gretzky you used again. The second quote. I skate to where the puck is. Is going to be not where it has been. Okay. All right. Is that not the definition of what we talked about tonight? I'm skating to where the puck is going to be, where I want it to end. Like Covey said, the other end in mind. That's what you're after. All righty. Okay, troops. I'll. Um, I'll check with Cheryl, Janet, make sure we didn't scare her off, and then I'll have her call you. She's back on there again now, Lou. She on now? Yeah. All right, babe. You got your microphone I'm back. on, baby? I don't want to speak with her, though. I'm back. You're back. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, Tammy just stopped in, Cheryl, while Hello. you were getting up again. Tell everybody who you are and where you live. Um, I'm Cheryl Baver, and I live in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, so everybody, anybody know where St. Louis, Missouri is? <laughs> no. Nobody knows that. I've been in the top of the arches, though. We know where those silly arches are. How far from the arches are you? <laughs> um, about 45 minutes away. Okay, so just about a rock's throw. Okay, we you're yes. our major representative in the St. Louis area now, Cheryl, so we'll look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> She's got a really, okay. really awesome idea, guys. She's already figured out what she's going to do and the direction she's going to kind of go. It's a fairly new concept and a bit of a struggle to figure out where in the hell's the money here. But we're going to figure it out, aren't we, Cheryl? I hope so. No, 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 no. Don't say it that way now. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. absolutely. We get done with this, lady. You're going to be famous for your thinking right now. So you stick with it. Okay, this is a good idea. A really, really good idea. Everybody here is going to be jealous when All they right, hear thanks. what you come up with. Ooh, okay. Fine. I got to hear. Hi, Tamara. All right. All right. Bye. I think we've done it. We've wore our welcome. Oh, joy. Joyce is retired, Tammy. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Joyce. Hey, Tam, are you, doing, are you doing a retreat in July? Yes, it's on the 13th. Okay, we'll see if I can get there. Oh, that would be wonderful. I've got a fella coming in. Ooh, I just forgot where he's from. I've got, uh, I'm teaching today, uh, this week, um, until Saturday anyway, and he's from Williamsburg, Virginia, and then I've got a guy that's coming in on uh, in in July, and then he's going to stay for the retreat too. Well, Chris and his wife are coming for my week long class. They're coming They're from uh, coming New Jersey. They're coming for the next, yeah, from New Jersey. So, so. they'll be here too. So yeah, we got a lot this of people is going to be fun. It's going to be a good one. This yeah. will be a good time to be here. Hope and to be we'll there. have a celebration. Hey, party can I share one more thing? Newest retired yes, person. Yes. Go ahead. Sorry, Dr. Lou. No, no. I found out I'm going to be a grandma for the first time. Oh, how wonderful. Is that you, Cheryl? Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, it is. Thank you. I just you. had a new baby yesterday. Cutest little thing you've ever seen. She weighed nine pounds. Did you? 
has a whole head of hair, black hair and big cheeks, chipmunk cheeks, see, yeah. and three chins. <laughs> <laughs> Cute, cute, cute she kids. Is, and she's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. They, you too. Now, if they just didn't grow up and start driving your damn Thanks. cars, we could love them all the way up. But somehow they just grow up and start wanting to drive, and then, yeah. holy crap. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you much hey, for your participation. Night. We'll catch night. you next Thursday night. Good night, night all. Good night. Good night.